I'm Mackenzie Peterson. Hi, I'm Samantha Kiley. Hi, I'm Lindsay Peterson. Keep watching GPS 19. It's a great place to hang out. squawks, the score up to her, and spit in the eye. That's what I do. Oh, sure I would. Through this life, you gotta walk tall and shoot straight. You gotta be scared of nothing or nobody. Ha! Oh, oh, oh. are you all right? What are you trying to do? Kill a guy? Oh, how can you be so cruel? It was just a rib, Dorothy. Can't you see how white he is? You really scared him. Well, who was scared? He was scared. If you were a jackrabbit, you'd be in the next county by now. Yeah. Here, here, what's all this jabber weapon? Well, there's work to be done. I know three shiftless farmhands that'll be out of the before noon. 
He was just having a bit of fun, Mrs. Gale. Farm's no place for fun. You want fun? Go join the circus. I might as just do that. Be a strong woman, see some men, explore the world. Well, don't start posing for it now. Here, here. Keep working on an empty stomach. Have some cookies. Oh, oh gosh, Mrs. Gale. Just baked. See, so you can't. Hickory, you go hitch up the wagon. You go feed those hogs before they worry themselves into a knee. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, ah, yeah. Really, Miss Gulch threatened that she was going to kill Toto, and now she said she's going to get the sheriff. Dorothy, you get yourself into a fright over nothing. No, well, so you just go find yourself a place where there isn't any trouble and stay out of her hair. A place where there isn't any trouble. I wonder if there is such a place, Toto. There must be. Somewhere you can't get to by boat or by train. Somewhere far, far away. Beyond the moon, behind the rain. When all the world is a hopeless jumble, and the raindrops tumble all around. Heaven opens a magic lane. When all the clouds darken up the skyway, there's a rainbow highway to be found. skulked a day in my life in the Gulch. Ain't about to start now. I want to see you and your wife right, right away about Dorothy. Dorothy? What's Dorothy done? What's she done? Why, I'm all but laying for the bite on my leg. 
She bit you? No, her dog. She bit her dog, hey? Afternoon, Miss Gulch. Just made a fresh batch of cookies, if you mind to sit a while. I'm afraid I have no appetite, Miss Gale. Indeed, I am so shaken from the ferocious attack of your niece's vicious dog that I may never eat again. But if you don't eat, you'll waste away. I hate to see it dwindle. Dorothy, could you bring Toyo out here a minute? I'm sure if Dorothy's done anything to upset you, she'll be only too glad to apologize. It's gone beyond apologies, Miss Gale. I've laid an official co complaint with the county sheriff. Was he sober? Miss Gulch here seems very upset. That dog's a menace to the community! That's not true! As an act of public service, young woman, I'm taking that dog to the sheriff and make sure he's destroyed! Destroyed? Oh, no, no, you, Toto, you can't! You mustn't! Oh, Uncle Henry, on the end, you won't let her, will you? Of course. Oh, please don't let her. Is he how sorry the child is? Surely, if she gives your place a wide berth? If you don't hand over that dog right now, I'll bring in a damage suit that will take your whole farm. There's, protect There's a law protecting folks against dogs that bite. Oh, no, please. Toto didn't know he was doing anything wrong. He didn't mean to. Oh, I'm the one that ought to be punished. You can send me to bed without supper. How would it be if he kept him? T if she kept him tied up? He's really, really gentle. Um, what gentle folk that is? Well, that's for the sheriff to decide. Here's his order allowing me to take him. Unless, of course, you want to go against the law. What's it say, Henry? Just what she says, Dorothy. Gotta hand him over. Oh no! I won't let you take him! Here's what I'm taking him in, so he can't attack me again. No! Oh, oh I won't let you take him! Oh, you go away! Oh, you, you don't, don't bite you myself! Dorothy! Oh, you wicked old witch! Uncle Henry, honey, I'm, don't let her take him! Don't let her take him, please! Stop her! No use running, Dorothy. I thought you were my friend. We are your friends. We all are. You can't fight the law, honey. Some things are just bigger than all of us. Here, let me have him, Dorothy. Put him in the basket, Henry. No, Uncle Henry, don't! Uncle Henry, no! Don't, Uncle Henry, don't! There's nothing we can do, Dorothy. We can't go against the law. Oh, please. A mere gulch just because you own half the county does not mean you have the power to control the rest of us. For 23 years I've been dying to tell you what I really think of you and being a Christian woman I can't say it. Well I can, so if you don't want to hear it you better pedal your carcass off of my land. I don't take kindly to that kind of talk, Henry Gale. Just remember, I have friends in high places. Well, why don't you climb on your broomstick and go visit them? Come on, Dora. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're letting her take Toto! We can't go against the law, Dorothy. What do you expect us to do? Well, you still gonna try it or something! Sorry, Dorothy. You! You stood there like you was stopped or something! I, I didn't know what to say. I'm, I'm sorry. One old woman and you were scared of her? I want my place to interfere. You're worst of all. You stop getting to from Toto from getting away. I just, I just hate you. Dorothy, don't say that. You make me feel like my heart's all empty inside. Well, I don't care. I don't care about any of you. And I'll never care about any of you. Toto was the only friend I had in this world. Now I got no one to talk to. No one to play with. I'll never see him again. Never, never, never. Toto? Oh, Toto! Oh, Toto, you came back! Oh, you wonderful darling dog! You got away from that horrible woman! But we've got to get out of here. She'll be, come, she'll be coming back looking for you any minute. We have to go away. We have to run away. We need food for me and a bone for you, and then, and then we're never coming back. Never, never, never. Oh, come on. Come on, Tony, come on. What's this?
big old sticks. Why, just like you could creep over the fatty. Well, that is my trade, my calling. See what it says on my conveyance. I told you to get off my land with gold. I did, but the dog got away. He can't have enjoyed your company much. Where the little girl is, that's where I'll find the dog. Kindly bring her out here. You don't give up, do you? Dorothy! Dorothy! She's not in the house, Henry. That fresh batch of cookies? It's gone. This picture from the mantle? That's gone too. Sounds like you've got a, run a runaway on your hands. <laughs> if she's on the road, I'll find her. And I'll take that dog back for good. If you're so eager to have it, why didn't you look after it better? Don't blame me. The catch on the basket's faulty. That's the last time I buy anything from a charity bazaar. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dakota. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore.
she? If she. If she. Is morally, ethically. Spiritually, physically, positively, absolutely, undeniably, and reliably dead. <gasps> for all the munchkins and their descendants. So let the joyous news be spread that we don't wish our last in yeah! Fine lady, 
It's true I can't attend to you here and now as I'd like, but after a suitable period of mourning, I'll have those slippers in my revenge too. So best try and stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you eventually, my pretty. And your little dog too. <laughs> It's all right. She's gone. You can all get up now. Who? <laughs> what a smell of sulfur. I'm afraid you've made a rather bad enemy of the Wicked Witch of the West. The sooner you get out of Oz altogether, the safer you'll sleep, my dear. Oh, I'd give anything to get out of Oz. My honey may sick and she may even be dying. But, but how do I get back to Kansas? I can't go the way I came. No. The only person who might be able to help would be the great and wonderful Wizard of Oz himself. Wizard of Oz? Oh, but is he good or is he wicked? Oh, he's very good, but very mysterious. He lives in the Emerald City, a not so long journey from here. Have you brought your broomstick with you? No, I'm afraid I didn't. Oh, well, then you'll have to walk. The Munchkins will see you to the border of Munchkin Land. But remember, you must never take those ruby slippers off your feet for even a moment, or you will be at the mercy of the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh, but, but how do I get to the Emerald City? Well, it's always best to start from the beginning. All you have to do is follow the yellow brick road. But what if I just follow the yellow brick road? Ah! My, people come and go so quickly here. Follow the yellow brick road? Follow the yellow brick road. 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 Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick road. You're up to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You'll find him. Let's 
miracle to be pleased and just to reason not the reason of the witch this and the wine it's in the way Consulting with the rain And my head I just got you All my thoughts are busy action If I only had a brain I'd unravel every riddle For any individual In trouble or in pain With the thoughts you'd be thinking You could be another again If I only had a brain Oh things and I don't eat. Won't you take me with you? Of course I will. All right, I'm gonna get me a brain. Oh, well, you're not off to a very good start, are you? No, I'll try, but I really will. To us? To us. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Such a long way, and I was so hungry, and I... Did you say something? 
She was hungry. She was hungry. How would you like it if someone came along and picked something up at you? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting I'm not in Kansas anymore. Come along, Dorothy. You don't want any of those apples. Yuck. Are you implying that my apples aren't what they ought to be? Oh, no. It's just she doesn't like little green worms. Worms? Did she just say we had worms? That's what it sounded like to me. I'll show you how to get apples. Sure you got worms, caterpillars, and probably a whole bunch of wood lice, too. How dare you? Let's give it to them, girls. Take that. Oh, goodness. That. Oh, Devotion 
and really feel the part. I could stay young and chipper and I'd lock it with a zipper if I only had a heart.
something with poison in it, I think. With poison in it, but attractive to the eye and soothing to the smell. Poppies, poppies, poppies! This lethal lullaby will put them to sleep forever, and then those ruby slippers will be mine! Beautiful 
how nice it would be. Welcome he to the city. He really Lincoln. must be a wonderful wizard to live in a city like this. Have you come far? Oh, just the longest of ways. Well, believe me, every step is worth it. Have you any idea how wonderful of a place this is? I always tried to imagine it, but I haven't got a brain. They said I'd fall in love with it, but I haven't got a heart. It's the one place I don't need courage. There's nothing to scare me. Is there? There's a garden spot, I'm told, where it's never too hot and it's never too cold. Where you're never too young and you're never too old. Where you're never too thin or tall. And you're never, never, never too, too, too anything at all. Oh, we're not too mad and we're not too sane and we don't compare and we don't complain. All we do is just sit tight Cause it's so, 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 so down right, right Ha <laughs> ha! 
Dorothy. The wizard will explain it. To the wizard. To the wizard. Here, here, here. Everything's all right. Just every, stop that now, it's all right. The great and powerful Oz has matters well in hand, and so you can all go home now, and there's nothing to worry about. I said go home, didn't you hear me? But that's what we're trying to do. That's why we have to see the wizard right now, all four of us. Orders are that nobody can see the great Oz. Not nobody, not know how. You have to make him see, Dorothy. Dorothy. Did you say the Dorothy? The, the witch's Dorothy? In person. Oh, well, that makes a difference. All of you wait here, I'll announce you at once. <laughs> Did you hear that? He's going to announce us at once. I have as good as got my brain. I can barely hear my heart beating. Oh, and I'll be home in time for supper. Another hour. I'll be king of the forest. Long live the king. <laughs>
The wizard has spoken. Come to think of it, guys. I really don't want to see the wizard this much. And I was so happy. I thought I was going to get to go home. We'll get you in there some way, Dorothy. Yeah, Dorothy, you'll make him see. Honey, <laughs> was so good to me. And I never appreciate it. Running away and hurting her feelings and... And now she's sick. And it's all my fault. I'll never forgive myself. Never, never, never! Please don't cry anymore. I'll take you to see the wizard somehow. Oh, thank you! That's all right. I knew an on once myself. This way, follow me. Uh, guys, uh, I really don't want to see the wizard as much. Come on, Ryan, we'll be scared together. I, I, ooh. What? Somebody pulled my tail. That was yourself. Uh, I, oh, I'm such a butter pause. <laughs> step right up, step right up. The great Oz awaits you. Oh, I guess we'll get to see you. Oh. I don't really like this. Near do I. It's so dark. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I really want to go home. Given up this crazy scheme, I never should have let you see the wizard. Oh, but but I'm glad you did. Well, how else am I supposed to get home? So, which way to the witch's castle? Nobody knows for sure. You mean no one's ever gone? Oh yes, plenty of folk have gone, but no one's ever come back. Oh boy. Well, there's no yellow brick road to follow now, is there? There's no road at all to the land of the Winkies. 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 
What Twinkies? Oh, people very much like us until the Wicked Witch made them into her slaves. And I, I just hope the same thing doesn't happen to you guys. Well, so do I. We won't go in empty-handed, will we? Keep to the west, where the sun sets. Well, is that the best place to find the Wicked Witch of the West? You won't find her, Dorothy. When you're in the land of the Winkies, she'll find you. Good luck. Well, just one thing. I haven't said goodbye to the wizard! Oh. You're really gonna leave Dorothy? You're oh. such a coward! Oh, but yeah. I'd rather stay here if you'd like. Oh, how I'd like. But if you really, really need me to tag along, I'll come, I guess. Oh, thank you. Come along, Dorothy. Oh, decisions, decisions. Come on, Lion. Oh, Scarecrow's not the one who needs a new brain. Yeah. I hate her. I hate her not. I hate her. I hate her not. I hate, 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 hate her! Now I understand why the poppies failed me. Fate ordained that Oz himself would deliver the mellifluous little baggage into my territory. But how to bring her here before me? Winkies! Winkies, come forth! Are? Um, there was a sign a while back. The one that said, do not enter? No, no. The one that said, if you've come this far, you're probably lost. Mm. Hey, look, there's another one. Oh, I, I turned, turned back, back if I, if I were you. you. Oh, fine. Oh. I believe there are spooks in this forest. I do, too, believe in spooks. Only fools believe in spooks. Ooh. Oh, 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 I do believe it's spooks. I do believe it's spooks. Are you all right? I do, I do, I do, yeah. I do believe it's spooks. So do I. I do. What is that? Are those birds? They're monkeys. The lion monkeys. Oh. Oh, sorry. Help! 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 Fine job we did of protecting Dorothy. Yeah. Pull yourself together, Scarecrow. I can't! Stick through my legs over there. And then stick through my arm over there. Scarecrow, that's you all over. Yeah! I'll get him. <laughs> Good 
scooter's new. We gotta go get Dorothy. How are we gonna find her? Well, the lion will lead us. Yeah! Me? Yeah, you! Uh, I, I'm gonna lead the, lead the forces of evil? Yeah! All right! Wicked witch or no wicked witch! Guards or no guards! I'll tear them apart! Rough! Rough! Oh, I'll go down and fight and I'll have to! Rough! There's one thing, fellas. What's that? Talk me out of it!
And with no more brains than you have, but they have one thing you haven't got a diploma. Therefore, by the therefore, by the honor invested in me by the University S Comitium E Pluribus Unum, I confer upon you the honorary degree of THD. THD? That's a doctor of thinkology. The square root of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equilateral to the main side. She oh. wrote sure I got a brain! Okay, oh. thank you. Well, you can't. And as for you, my fine friend, you are under the unfortunate delusion that just because you run away from danger, you have no courage. You're mistaking courage for wisdom. You see? Back to where I come from, we have these men called heroes. Once a year, they take their fortitude out of mothballs and parade it around the main streets of the city. And they have no more courage than you have. But they have one thing you haven't got. A medal. Ooh. Therefore, for extraordinary valor, meritorious conduct, and extraordinary bravery against wicked witches, I award you with the Triple Cross. You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Oh, it's so pretty. And as for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart? You don't know how fortunate you are not to have one. You see, hearts will never be made practical until they can be made unbreakable. But, but, but I still want one. Back where I come from, we have these men who do nothing but good deeds all day. They're called Phil. Phil. Good deed doers, and their hearts are no bigger than yours. But they have one thing you haven't got, a testimonial. Therefore, in consideration of your kindness, I take pleasure at this time in awarding you a token of our esteem and affection. And remember, my sentimental friend, that a heart is not judged by how much you love, but how much you are loved by others. Look at it! It's ticking! I have a heart! Oh, look at my medal. Read what it says, Dorothy. Read what it says. Award it for courage. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? Ain't <laughs> it the truth? But what about Dorothy? Yeah, what about Dorothy? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I don't think there's anything in your coat for me. Child, you, child, you cut me to the quick. The only way for Dorothy to get back to Kansas is for me to take her there myself. Oh, will you? Could you? But are you a clever enough wizard to manage it? Child, I'm an old Kansas man myself. Premier Balloon is par excellence of the Miracle Wonderland Carnival Company. And one day, while performing spectacular feats upon the stratospheric skill, never before attempted by civilized man, the balloon failed to return to the fair. You did! Oh, frightened, were you? Frightened? You're talking to the man who has laughed at the face of death, sneered at doom, and chuckled at catastrophe. I was petrified. But then, suddenly, the wind changed. And the balloon floated safely down to the heart of this very city, where I was instantly acclaimed Oz, the first wizard deluxe. 
Deluxe coming from the French word luxury. Oh. Well, a few luxuries went with the job, but I took it anyway. Rotating the balloon upon an advent of a quick getaway, the balloon is ready for takeoff, and in that conveyance, my dear Dorothy, you and I shall return to the land of ye pluribus unum. Step this way. and technically unexplainable journey to the outer stratosphere. <laughs> to confer, converse, and otherwise hobnob with my fellow wizards. <laughs> and until that time, if any, that I return, the scarecrow, by virtue of his highly superior brain, shall rule at my stead. Assisted by the tin man, by virtue of her heart, and the lion by virtue of his courage. Obey them as you would me. It is time to embark, Dorothy. Climb aboard. Well, where's Toto? I can't go without him. Toto? Don't worry, I'll get him for you. Wait, wait, don't go. Don't. Oh, oh no, no, don't go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come back, you can't go without me. I can't, I don't know how this works. Oh, please come back. Goodbye, everyone, goodbye. Here's your dog. <laughs> well, you can stay with us, Dorothy, if you like. Yeah, we didn't want you to go anyway. Mm -mm. But I have to get back to Kansas. Don't you love us, Dorothy? Well, you know I do. There's a place and people that I love more. And now it's further away than the furthest dream. Oh, Scarecrow, I'll never see Kansas again. Never. 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 Never is a very, very long time, Dorothy. Good Witch of the North, can you help me? Will you help me? You don't need to be helped any longer. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas. Mm -hmm. I have? Why didn't you tell her sooner? Because she wouldn't have believed me. She had to learn it for herself. What'd you learn, Dorothy? Well, I think that it isn't enough just to want to see Uncle Henry and Aunt Em. And that, and that if I ever go searching for my heart's desire again, I won't look any further than my own backyard because if it isn't there, then I never really lost it to begin with. Is that right? That's all it is. I should have figured that out for you, Dorothy. I should have felt it in my heart. And I should have felt the courage of my convictions. No, she had to learn it for herself. Now those magic slippers will take you home in two seconds. Toto too? Toto too. Well, saying goodbye is going to be the hardest part. Goodbye, Tin Man. Now I know I've got a heart, because it's the brain. Oh, no, please don't try your problem. <laughs> The lion. I know it isn't right, but I'm gonna miss those days when you used to holler before you found your courage. I'm gonna do a little hollering when you're gone. And you, Scarecrow? You were the first friend I had in all this. I think I'll miss you most of all. I'll think of you always, Dorothy. <laughs> Are you ready now? Oh yes, please, before I change my mind and stay forever. Then close your eyes and tap your heels together three times and just think to yourself over and over again, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. One. There's no place like home. Two. There's no place like home. Goodbye, Dorothy. <coughs> little girl, little girl. Oh, I'd hate to 
think of a girl out there all night in that storm. We'd best get into town and notify the sheriff. Wait, did you hear that? Toto? There she is. Dorothy. There's no place for you. She's got a lump on her head the size of an ostrich egg, but the skin ain't broken. Oh, There's Dorothy, no Dorothy, are you all right? Pause. My name's Chester, but you can call me whatever you like. <laughs> Uncle Henry, you were the cop. I'm guarding you now, honey. I'll see that no more harm comes to you. Why? Do you see a tail? Hello, Tin Man. Who's Tin Man? I got that blanket y'all asked for. You lost all your stuffing. Stuffing? I didn't have any stuffing. You left me with a bag of kittens. Well, what's gonna happen to all those little field mice living in your stomach? I didn't have field mice. I want him. Oh, Dorothy, you're safe and you're well. Oh, thanks to you, Mom. You're the one who showed me how to how to use the slipper. Oh, Dorothy, I won't use the slippers on you. You haven't done anything wrong. No, you, you don't understand. I, I, was, I was in this place, and, and I remember there were some parts that were very bad, but some that were very, very good. Oh, and, and, and you were there, and, and you were stuffed with, with hay, and, and you were rusted, rusted solid, and, and you, you were afraid of everything, and you were a humbug. Hey, now, let's not get personal here. Why doesn't anyone believe me? Of course we believe you, Dorothy, but we have to get you to bed. Come on. Is the house back? You know, it fell on the Wicked Witch of the East. The storm blew right by it. Um, a house landed on Miss Gulch, but she's not going to be bothering us anytime soon. A telegraph pole fell on her. Won't be hearing from that old Betty till her leg gets out of plaster. So does that mean we're safe then? Yes. yes. Oh, Toto, did you hear that? We're safe. And we're home. Oh, I love you all so much. We're never going to leave here. Because you know what, Anna? Oh, Dorothy. There really is no place like home.
Have a wonderful weekend. What is your name? Sierra. Would you describe your character? Um, I'm the Wicked Witch, so I'm the bad guy who wants to destroy everything. What is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? Um, well, normally it would be the I'll get you my pretty, but that's not actually my favorite. My favorite is the Ring Around the Rosie, A Pocket Full of Spears line, where I'm basically taunting them with their own doom. What have you enjoyed most about being involved in this production? Um, well, it's kind of fun learning how to build things, like watching people build things, but it's most fun to be able to pretend to die. That's always fun. <laughs> how would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Learn patience and study your lines like it's your job. It's going to come in handy. That's good advice. <laughs> Thank you for talking to us. My pleasure. What is your name? My name is Tori Naff. What is your role in producing this play? Well, for Wizard of Oz, I am the Cowardly Lion. What is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? I, I would have to say when I jump out and scare everyone, show everyone how tough I am. My favorite line would have to be, put them up, put them up. Which one are you first? What have you enjoyed most about being involved in this production? Well, as you see behind me, my friend Maddie Cardney, who's holding the dog right now, me and her have been best friends since middle school, and we've gotten a lot closer ever since the show started, so it brings friendships a lot together. How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Just let yourself go, especially part of a musical where you have to sing and dance. Just be loose and free. That's all it is. Thank you for talking to us. No problem. Have a great day. Hi, what is your name? I'm Madeline Carney. Uh, what is your role in the play and how would you describe your character? I'm Dorothy. I'm the girl from Kansas who gets dropped in a house into the middle of Oz and then she's trying to find her way home. She's a little bit of a ditz. She's kind of fun. So, yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? I think when she says there's no place like home. So, you know, that's kind of Dorothy's classic line, you know. What have you enjoyed most about being involved in this production? 
all the people. Um, I got to hang out with one of my really good friends who plays the lion, and then I met um, a few new people. Like my Dorothy understudy is super nice, and we never even knew each other existed until this year, and now we're really good friends. So that has definitely been my favorite part, meeting all these people. That's great. How, wh how would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Just to keep at it, and it can be really discouraging, and you're going to get a lot of rejections in life, but it's really worth it in the end, and it's a lot of fun. So just to keep going and be persistent. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you very much. Well, I left my happy home to see what I could find out. I left my folk and friends with the aim to clear my mind out. Hi, what is your name? I am Connor Parsons. What is your role in producing this play? I am the light director. What is the hardest part for you in preparing this show? Probably the uh, work that we had to do half an hour before the show. We had a lot of uh, changes to make right before the show. It's very difficult and stressful. Why do you like working backstage? It's a different experience than being out there on the stage. Most people know about the actors and they don't really know about the people backstage. What is your favorite part of the play? My favorite part of the play has to be Munchkinland and having all those uh, second and third grade Munchkins. They're just so cute. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you very much. What is your name? Libby Williams. Would you describe your character? Uh, she's really light and bubbly. Uh, she can be stupid, yeah, irritating sometimes. Yeah, definitely. Ditsy. <laughs> and who is your character? Glinda. What is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? Uh, I like when she asked Dorothy, did she bring her broomstick with her after she asked her three times, like, oh, are you a witch? And she's like, no. <laughs> What have you enjoyed most about being part of this production? Uh, I really like that the songs were in my vocal range because a lot of times I get a part where it's hard to sing and I really liked being a happy character that was smiling and I liked the dress. <laughs> How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Uh, definitely go over your lines a lot and it helps to know other people's parts in your scene too because it will be a lot harder to forget your lines if you know theirs too. Thank you for talking to us. Yeah, no problem. Hi, what is your name? Samantha Zad. What is your role in producing this play? Um, I haven't really been in drama for much of this for this performance because of school things, but um, I'm helping around with the actors and mostly helping handle the dog. What is the hardest part for you in preparing this show? Um, well, the dog gets really freaked out with crowds and usually his water bowl's in the pit, mm -hmm. so I have to go through the audience and think, no one see me, no one see me, and all you hear is, that's Toto! <laughs> what do you, why do you like working backstage? Um, it's just kind of behind the scenes that people don't get to see, and it's such a complex thing that it's really interesting, and just to 
see how people break character as soon as they're after and get prepared for character, and it's just really cool. What is your favorite part of the play? Um, I have to say I do not know. All of it's pretty fun. Thank you for talking to us. You're welcome. Hi, what is your name? I'm Alex Carlson. Uh, who are you in the show and how would you describe your character? I'm Uncle Henry mainly. Um, he owns a farm. He's Dorothy's uncle. What is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? When Miss Gulch um, talks about her complaint with the sheriff and Uncle Henry asks if, he's, he, if the sheriff was sober. What have you enjoyed most about being involved in this production? Definitely meeting the people and getting to know them. How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Um, work at what you love. Thank you for talking to us. Hi, what is your name? I'm Michaela Roberts. And who are you and how would you describe your character? Well, I'm a beautician and a winky general and my general, I have actual lines, so my general is like commanding but is very scared of the Wicked Witch, like terrified. But What is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? Well, my favorite line is when I tell the witch that um, ever since she put her foot through my, our drum set. <laughs> Ever since she put her foot through our drum step, how else can we keep in step? What have you enjoyed most about being involved in this production? Well, I enjoyed everyone, and it's pretty sad that I'm leaving this year, because I'm going to miss everyone a lot. How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Well, lots and lots of practice. Oh God, lots and lots of practice, stress, but also excitement and fun. Good. Thank you for talking to us. No problem. You What is your name? Morgan Ruggieri. What is your role, or what is your role in this play, and how do you describe your character? I play the scarecrow, and he needs to find a brain. So at first, he's not really intelligent, but toward the end, he starts to gain some intelligence that he didn't even know about. What is your favorite line, or the defining moment of your character? Um, my favorite line of the whole show is when Dorothy asks why I. I'm talking if I don't have a brain and I'm just like I don't know and it's like so real because he doesn't have a brain so it sounds really funny. What have you enjoyed most about being part of this production? Um, the most I've enjoyed is like meeting everybody because this is my first year here and I'm a sophomore so it's like meeting new people and getting to know them and working with them. How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? 
Um, I would just say to read your lines every night, go to every practice, mostly because if you miss one, you're going to be really behind. Thank you for talking to us. No problem. Through the mirror of my mind, time after time, I see reflections of you and me. Reflections of the way life used to be. Reflections of the love you took from me. Hi, what is your name? My name is Molly McElroy. Who, who, is you, who is your character in the show and how would you describe them? Um, well, um, to few I am Professor Marble, but to many I am the Wizard of Oz. I would say he's sort of like the showman. That's, in one word, that's basically who he is. Okay. Um, what is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? I would have to say, uh, when you meet Professor Marvel because that allows you to get to feel the character for the first time and how he generally works. Like he says he's magical, but he ends up looking at Dorothy's picture. So, uh, yeah. What have you enjoyed most about being involved in this production? Um, well, even though I'm not in them, um, the dance scenes are very entertaining to watch. And a lot of the dialogue that I do is pretty fun to recite, so. So it's a lot of fun. How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Um, well, be prepared to be under high stakes because especially with a play like this with big sets and big dance numbers, there's going to be a lot of pressure. But if you can work through it, and, uh, do, and you'll get really far. Thank you for talking to us. You're welcome. Hi, what is your name? Hi, I'm Rachel Miller. What is your role in the play and how would you describe your character? Um, I play Ani M and she's a very um, polite farm worker who's mother of Dorothy and um, she's a very hard-working, um, well-mannered character. Uh, what is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? Um, I really liked when she kind of got the confidence to tell Miss Gulch what she really thought, and I think it really uh, helped her character develop throughout the play. What has been your favorite part of being part of this production? I really loved getting close with my cast, and I can honestly say that they're one of my best friends. <laughs> How would you tell younger, act younger students to prepare for being actors? I mean, you hear all the time that something like this is a big commitment, but I don't think you really understand that until you become one of these, become a part of one of these big productions because they do take up most of your time. So just be prepared for that. Thank you for talking to us. You're welcome. Hi, what is your name? I'm Gabby Bergeson. Uh, who is your character and how would you describe them? My character is the guard and I would say um, that he's, prob he's very you know, loyal to the wizard and doesn't let anybody see him unless the wizard says so, so he's loyal. What is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? Probably when I, 
I sing my solo, you know, in the in um, the Mary Atlanta of Oz, and we dance with everybody, and that's probably the best part of the moments. What have you enjoyed most about being involved in this production? Um, just being around everybody, everyone's awesome, you know. Um, they're really excited in it. You know, it helps because they get you motivated to want to do good and stuff like that, so stuff like that. How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Um, I would tell them to that it's a lot of work and that um, you should really prepare yourself and know that you do have to read your lines and make sure you go over them more than once and to just be prepared because um, everybody expects your full 100% um, when you're acting. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> trouble, oh, trouble, can't you see? You're eating my heart away and there's nothing much left of me. So won't you be fair, so won't you be fair, I don't want no more of you. Hi, what is your so name? Abigail Perkins. Uh, who are you in the show and how would you describe your character? I play Miss Gulch and uh, she is a cranky old lady who would go to any length to get what she wants. What is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? My favorite line has got to be when she comes back on stage after having got Toto, the dog, and Toto gets away from her. She comes on going, here, doggy, doggy, where is that dreaded animal? Here, doggy, doggy. What have you enjoyed most about being involved in this production? Yesterday, bef um, before we started, I was really nervous. But then after I came back off stage for the... Uh, before I came back on again. I was really excited, and from there on out, I was just really excited, really happy, and I couldn't wait to get back on stage. How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? I would tell them to uh, definitely memorize their lines and show up every day, and don't be afraid to be nervous. It's all right. Everyone has those moments where they freak out. Thank you for talking to us. You're welcome. I For the love you give, and I wanna thank you for the heart you see. Thank you, thank you for the love. I wanna thank you for the hearts and flowers. Hi, what is your name? Rachel. Uh, who do you play in the show, and how would you describe your character? I play the trees, the crows, the citizen of Oz, and the munchkins, and they all like tell the story of the different characters. What is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? My favorite moment is during the tree dance, because we get to dance much more, and yeah. <laughs> what have you enjoyed most about being in this, pro in this production? Um, I really love singing and dancing, and I keep wanting to continue that. How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Just to keep practicing and enjoy it and just have fun. Thank you for talking with us. You're welcome. Hi, what is your name? I'm Hennessy Sebastian. What is your role in producing this play? I am head of costuming and a little bit of makeup. 
What was the hardest part for you in preparing this show? Definitely specific costumes like trees and crows because we had to make them by hand. So, yeah. Why do you like working backstage? Um, seeing your finished product on stage is really rewarding and you have like this inner joy, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> what is your favorite part of the play? I can't really choose one. I think when they're all together, like every character, and they're marching down to see the wizard. Thank you for talking to us. No problem. If you're going to San Francisco, be sure to wear What's your name? I'm Lisa Santos. What is your character in the play and how would you describe your character? I'm a munchkin and I think that's very, it's very sweet because I'm working with all the little kids and all that, so yeah. What is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? The dancing part because I'm, the, all the little kids are dancing and all that and they're so cute. <laughs> what have you enjoyed most about being involved in this production? I think it's the people, because they're like, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. They're like all nice and all that, like, so yeah. How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Just to be themselves, yeah. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Hi, what is your name? My name is Ashlyn Kernan. What is your character in the play and how would you describe them? Um, I am a crow tree, a uh, flying monkey, <laughs> um, Winky, citizen of Oz, um, a munchkin, lots of things. Uh, <laughs> and um, they all dance. That's how I describe them. <laughs> what is your favorite line or the defining moment of your character? Um, I don't have lines, but define, um, for the flying monkeys, we take Dorothy, so she has to go to the witch's castle, so I guess that's a defining moment. Have, what have you enjoyed most about being involved in this production? Um, I really liked working with the munchkins. Um, they were very fun to work with. <laughs> How would you tell younger students to prepare for being an actor? Um, just rehearse your lines and, I guess, for musicals, learn the songs and dances. Thank you for talking to us. You're welcome. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? How the music can free her whenever it starts and it's magic. Hi, what is your name? My name is Mrs. Libby. Uh, what is your role in producing this play? My role is supporting mom. What was the hardest part for you in preparing this show? I think it was the last minute sewing projects that came up. We had a couple of uh, mishaps with costumes. And so um, coming up with a quick solution and making sure that the kids can still go on, that was the trick. What do you, why do you like working backstage? Well, besides working with kids and, and loving kids, 
Um, teenagers are probably the most fun because they get stuff that other people don't. Um, I don't know, just seeing something come together and seeing the kids come to life in their characters and um, even just working as a team, that's what I like. What is your favorite part of the play? I have to say it's when the witch dies. <laughs> yeah, she makes quite a spectacle of herself. It's lovely. <laughs> Thank you for talking with us. You're welcome, honey. When you get to the bottom, you go back to the top of the slide and you stop and you turn and you go through. What is your name? I'm Jesse Stripling, the drama director at Fitch High School. What is the most difficult part in organizing this year's production? Uh, the most difficult part in this year's production is probably the technical aspect. We've got a lot of lighting changes, a lot of special effects, uh, an expansive set change list, lighting, sound. Uh, there's a lot that went into this show. What has been the most satisfying part of producing this play? As always, opening night. Once you drop that final curtain and it all went off as it was supposed to. The kids are excited, uh, the audience is excited. It, it makes the hundreds of hours that go into it all worthwhile. How are these scripts chosen for this year's performance? We actually chose The Wizard of Oz this year because it, it's the 50th anniversary of the classic film. So we decided why not celebrate an American classic, put it on the best way we know how, uh, so we tried to tie, there's actually another Oz film coming out. So we decided now is the time if we were going to do this classic, why not do it right and do it on the 50th anniversary. How do interested students join the drama club? They show up. We are here almost every day after school. Uh, throughout the year we meet Monday, Wednesday. For about a month before the show we meet five days a week. We're in the auditorium each and every day or they can come down to my room and simply ask. We have parts for everyone, singing, dancing, set building, lighting, tech, creative, costumes, painters. If you are in any way interested, we will find something for you to do. Why would you encourage students to join the drama club? It's a unique experience. It's not like any other sport or activity. It's uh, because of the disparate number of skills that go into creating this single product at the end. It creates a family environment. Everybody pitches in their own individual and unique way to create one thing. It's a, a wonderful bonding experience that you really don't get anywhere else in high school. You know, in football, you all have to be good at football. In baseball, you all have to be good at baseball. In this, you have to work together with dancers, singers, painters, uh, people who are interested in costumes. To have all those talents come together and point towards one direction is a fantastic way to prepare for the real world and a fantastic high school experience. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you for having me. Hope you come and see the show. You're out to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You'll find he is the wizard of Oz, the wizard of Oz. If ever, 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 the wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because. She says is the name of the star. Kansas, she says, is the name of the star. She brings you good news, oh, haven't you heard? What you found out of Kansas, a miracle occurred.
is dead. Yay! Yeah! Oh, 